Mm. Riddle me this, riddle me that. What's a riddle? A riddle is like a puzzle with words. So we're going to look at a few riddles today to practice some vocabulary, get our brains working and to have some fun. Okay, for this riddle, can you show me your neck? Can you touch your neck? Well done, it's here. And can you touch your head? Aha, uh -huh, well done. Okay, so this riddle is, what has a neck but no head? What has a neck but no head? What do you think? And the answer is, not a gruesome monster, no, but a bottle. This is the bottleneck, but the bottle has no head. This riddle tests our knowledge of colours. Right, so to practice, you've got 10 seconds to find something in your room that's black. Go! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, oh, 3, 2, 1. Oh, did you find something? Now you've got 10 seconds to find something white. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and white. And you've got 5 seconds haha, to find something blue. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and... Easy peasy. Okay, so this riddle is what is black, white, and blue? Any ideas? Okay, I'll give you a clue. Oh, that rhymes. In English, blue is the colour, but it has another meaning. Do you know what it means? Do you think it means to be happy or to be sad? It means to be sad. So, what is black, white and blue? It's a sad zebra. For this next riddle, I'd like to introduce my friend, Ella the elephant. Hello. And Snella the snail. They're going to have a race. Who do you think will win? The elephant or the snail? Let's see. On your marks, get set, go! It was Snella the snail. How can we describe Snella the snail? We could say that she is in front of Ella the elephant. She's in front of Ella. Ella is behind Snella. Okay? In front of, behind. Got it? Where is Ella? She's in front of Snella. Well done. Where is Ella now? She's behind Snella. Okay, so this riddle is what is always in front of you, but you can never see it. What is always in front of you, like Snella is in front of Ella, but you can never see it. What do you think? The future. You can never see the future.